So hello, everyone. My name is Belkasem. I'm an assistant professor at Osaka University in Japan. Today, I'm going to answer the following question. Can we take multitasking to the second level using only brain-machine interface technology? The answer for this question is yes. Therefore, no need for this presentation, right? But the real question is, how can we achieve that? What is the important things to like enhance our multitasking? Why we want to do that? And can we enhance like brain functions just by choosing our actions and with intensive training? Is the brain able to manage like multiple devices using only the brain activity? So, young people everywhere, they have to work hard to achieve many things in their life. But I mean, even working hard is not enough at all. So they have to do, or they have to work over time to achieve many things in their life. But at any workplace, young workers bring new ideas, energy, but after working many hours every day, they become exhausted, stressed, inefficient, and some of them may suffer from stroke or heart attack. So our propose, we propose to solve this problem by enhancing the multitasking in the brain. And like that, we can decrease the overtime, and we can also maximize the productivity by maximizing the neuroplastic benefits. I'm talking about neuroplasticity in the brain. So like that, we can have like engineering and scientific point of view. Many researchers have been trying their best to control like some additional hands, arm, fingers, using muscles activity or using some mechanical aspect. But none of them had tried to control the, this extra devices using brain activity. Do you know why? Because it's very complex. It's not easy at all. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to think to solve this problem. So imagine in the future, if you have a copy of you, a robot, human-like robot looks like you, and you want to control this robot, which way do you prefer? Do you want to control it using like teleoperation interface? or you want to control it using your brain activity, which is more natural way to interact with our complex environment. So that's why I proposed a new paradigm to find some new brain features. And we can use these new brain features, we can use them as a characteristic to give them for like an algorithm, a smart algorithm that can be able to distinguish between four types of bilateral hand movement. So we decode and control a human-like robot using four simultaneous bilateral hand movement. And all previous researchers, they just focus on unilateral movement. So you can see here a video that we were able to control human-like robot. So you can see the feedback and you can see like the person is inside, we are recording his brain activity, and he is able to control this human-like robot from Osaka to Kyoto City. Since 2006, I have been working in this field, brain-machine interface, and I developed many application, engineering application, such as, such as I controlled like eye movement, I controlled uh, game, using eye movement with a robust algorithm and with the new position to record, which is more practical way. And also starting by thinking to develop the hardware and the software, not only the software, not only the algorithm. We can also develop our own software to record the eye, the eye movement and also to record brain activity. And I have been also, I could control like robotic arm and also like 3D helicopter using only brain activity with my Chinese team. So you can imagine that the brain, 
we can record the information from the brain. But not only that, we can also send information to the brain. We can control your brain if we can send some electrical signal to your brain. Or we can also send just light. We call this like optogenetics. But the new things, we can control your brain using ultrasound waves. We call, this is very new te technique. We call it like sonogenetics. So imagine this kind of techniques are the future. We can also like treat people who suffer like from high depression, Parkinson's disease, and also we can make a lot of application, clinical and non-clinical application, based on this new technology, brain-machine interface. So I do believe that it's my job to bring this technology to the Arabic world. And in the future, I promise you to make some suitable application for this country or for all the Arabic world. Thank you very much.